you to be quitting, ain't it, girl? Or is it Christmas? Girls yourself. Ain't Christmas neither. That hell bitch, he turned his back on her and she went and bit a hunk out of him. I'm glad you got here before fall, Newt. You've been to Michigan. Oh, it's supper time. Either that or old Bolivar's calling up bandits. We hear you. We hear you. Something, why don't you thank that roof back up on the barn instead of sitting in the shade all the time? Well, I'm glad I ain't scared to be late. I don't recommend you, Mike. Can we eat now, or do we have to wait till the argument's over? <laughs> you will starve if you wait for that. <laughs> Many thanks. If you ever get tired of loafing, I reckon you can get a job waiting on tables. Oh, I had a job waiting tables once. I was on a riverboat. I wasn't older than Newt there, but I had to give it up. How come? Well, I was too young and pretty, and a whore wouldn't let me alone. <laughs> Listening to you brag don't improve the taste of these Mexican strawberries, none. The only way to get better food around here is by shooting Bala. And another thing, Bala, I want you to quit whacking that dinner bell for supper. You see, you can whack it at noon if you want to, but let off doing it in the evening. See, a man with any sense at all can tell when it's sundown without you whacking that bell. General Robert E. Lee free the slaves. I can whack it if I want to. It was Abe Lincoln who freed the slaves, Bob, not General Lee. He didn't free Mexicans anyway, Bob. It was uh, Americans that he freed. You're in over your head, Pete. It was a bunch of Africans Abe Lincoln freed. No more American than uh, Paul here. I'm American, by God. Yeah, you was born in Scotland, as I recall. Well, you were still dragging on the tit when they brought you over here. <laughs> I reckon I'm as American as anybody from Tennessee. Well, you boys can sleep easy tonight knowing Ranger Captain Woodrow F. Paul is out there guarding the river. Keep you safe from Indians and Mexican bandits and... What Indians? There ain't no Indians no more. We cleaned them all out of here. Well, how about Blue Duck? We never got him. No, we never got that half breed. Blue Duck ain't around here nowhere. He's rangers, but farther north. Well, then how come the captain goes to the river every night? Oh, he just misses a wild old days around here when he had somebody to that wit, that's all. Oh, I'll walk that bell if I want to. What's the matter with that knife, Bo? You won't hold an inch? It is like a wife. Every night, you better stroke it. If that's the case, your wife over in Mexico must be getting pretty rusty by now. She don't get sharpened more than what? Twice a year, does she, Bo? She is old, like you. Well, the older the violin, the sweeter the music. You ought to bring her up here to meet me sometime. No, I know you. You try to corrupt her. Well, then how about one of your daughters? Hell, you got, what, nine of them, ain't you? I don't see no scout. Just a 
been a good night to slip over into Mexico and cross some stock. Cross them and then do what with them? It ain't against the law for you to work, Augustus. Captain, next time you go over to Mexico, can I go? I believe I'm getting old enough now. You get old quick, you keep sitting around all night, talking. Best go on to bed. Still early, Captain. You on the bed now, like I told you to. We got to work tomorrow. Yes, sir. Gonna be so hard on that boy, Woodrow. Hell, let him set a while. The only chance he got at education is listening to me talk. What kind of education is that? You think he learned more shoveling horse poop for you? I shovel my share of it. It ain't hurt me none. Well, Woodrow, it's fine with me if that's how you want to make your fortune. And I think I'll straggle out of that gin paddle to see if I can't scare me up a card game. Now, you pigs, you don't wait up for me now. my good friend. Ah, Mr. Gus, come in, come in. Loan me two dollars, all right, Gus? Well, why would I loan money to a loafer? You ought to be trailing cattle this time of year, Dave. I'm leaving next week to do just that. Loan me two dollars, I'll pay you back in the fall, all right? Even, Lori? Well, fine, real fine. Listen, you boys, me and Lori are trying to talk here. Dish, you sound like you got a sour stomach. Now, what you need is a good, satisfying game of cards. Ain't that right, Lippy? Now, wait a minute. I didn't come in here to play no cards. How about you, Wong? Put that rag away. Let's play. Hell, the people who come in here wouldn't notice a dead skunk on the table, much less a few crumbs. Put you in a better mood, Dish. else to do around here anyway, is there? <laughs> Almost sun up. Anybody pretty as her wind up in Lonesome Dove anyway. There's a gambler named Tinker. We left her here a couple of years ago. Before that, he'd had her uh, sparking the boys over in San Antonio to pay his debt. Damn him. Oh, it was all right with her. She was a rat holding her tips on him, see? Trying to save enough to get to San Francisco. So then he found her hiding place, stole it all. So then she caught him drunk one night, tried to shoot him with his own pistol. He beat her a whack. Black and blue for her trouble. Yeah. Bitter lip, too. That's how come she got that scar, that yeah, little old scar. I kind of like it, don't you? You been with her? Sure, who ain't? Even once treats himself once or twice a week. <laughs> of course, she won't have nothing to do with Lippy at any price. Oh, uh, here's that two dollars you wanted to borrow, see? Go ahead, take it. I wouldn't want to sit I'd refuse a loan to a friend. Well, much obliged then. I'll pay you back in the fall. No need to ride off tonight, D. Come on home with me now and throw your blanket on our front porch if you like. Appreciate that. I I do. I Dun, I think I may have left some on the table in there. Imagine that. It's all right with you, D. I won't wait. Oh no, no need. You you go on. Get 
from here, you pig. I ain't giving you no biscuits, all right? Go on. Get. Get. Oh. What's this boggy doing on the front porch? They're sleeping unless you woke him. How's that horse fight? Oh, hell, I've been bit worse by bed bugs down in Saltillo. You ought to let me pour some axle grease on it for you. You tend your biscuit. I expect you've been setting up all night reading the good book. Well, it's hard to have fun in a place like this, but I do my best. Uh. Biscuits are ready. We come to this place to make money. There wasn't nothing about fun in the deal. What are you talking about? You don't even like money. You like money even less than you like fun. If that's possible. Wake up, Nuke. Poke yourself in the eye with your own fork. See what happens when you kick him up all the night long talking. Hurry, right, Pete. Don't take a hacksaw and cut them eggs the way you brine them up there in coffee grounds, ball. I don't care. Hey, P.I., it's bad manners to go relieving yourself in the sound of people trying to eat their breakfast. Now, what was your mama think? Morning. Morning, dish. Have you some bacon? Thank you, Captain. It's all right. You can work it off. Work it off? Hey, come look who's riding up the road. It ought to be Deets. He's due back from the bank of San Antonio this morning, ain't he? Deets all right, but you ain't alone. That's Deets all right. Where's the other? All right, God, Woodrow. That's Jake Spoon. Dang if you ain't right, Lord, how long? Ten years. boys. What's for breakfast? Yeah, you're too late. We done it. <laughs> you always was a hog, Gus. Yeah. <laughs> Captain, good to see you. Where you been all these years, Jake? Arkansas most recently. From the looks of that horse, he's ready to hurry to get out of there, too. Yeah, that's true enough. What you think, Cap? <laughs> Didn't I find the prodigal? Found him all right. Bet it wasn't in no church house. <laughs> B. Been a long time. Thank you, Jake. This here's Dish Boggett. He just signed on with us. A dish? Had a dish, Jake Spoon. Howdy. And who's this? Don't you remember me, Jake? Used to buy me hard candy. Hey, you gave me my first ride of horseback. My God. Well, if it ain't Newt. <laughs> Little Newt. <laughs> I grown up, huh? You sure have. You grown up good, Newt. Thank you, Jake. Uh, Woodrow make sure he gets plenty of sleep. <laughs> they give his horse a good feed. I judge it's been a while since he's had one. Yes, sir. Hey, didn't Deets have that same cap before I left? Well, you know Deets. He ain't one to quit on a garment just because he got a little age. We can't all be fine dressers like you, Jake. Hey, you best get these two boys to work digging that well. Well, now, Captain, I don't... You don't mind doing a little well digging to pay for your breakfast, do you, Dick? I guess so. Ah! I hope it's the you got for a cook's been cleaning his gun on this towel. Don't complain. There's worse things he wipes on it sometimes. Where you been all these years, Jake? See in the country. Up in Montana two years ago. Here in Atlanta never was, especially up there in the Milk River. You smell county in there. I bet you can smell the engines, too. Now, I swear to you. See all the grass. Grass everywhere. The boys wouldn't believe it. Plenty of water, too. If I can go today, if I can sprout wings and fly. 
be safer to walk. Then you give somebody else time to lick the Indian before you get there. I'll tell you this, and that they are like there's gonna be fortunes made in Montana. What are you saying, Jay? I'm saying let's just get to it first. Wind up some of them free cattle down here and drive them on up. How we'd be rich in no time. Carl, it's cattle land like you've never seen before. Jake, if you ain't something, we ain't seen you in 10 years now. You've come riding in here, want to pack up, go north, and get scalped. <laughs> Guess I don't remember you being afraid of a few Indians. We were up and down here, didn't we? And how them was Comanches. I don't remember you being no lover of cows, neither. Pretty whores, cards, and clean shirts was more your line. Yeah, but I can smell an opportunity when it's right under my nose. What about that trouble up in Arkansas? Damn, Mule Skinner threw down on me in a saloon, shot back at him with a buffalo gun, and killed the dentist. It's a pure accident, but I, I killed him. He just standing in the wrong place, huh? No, actually, he was outside walking down the street. The flank wall won't stop no 50 caliber bullet. But a dentist will. <laughs> Dropped him dead. <laughs> Bad luck all around. Well, nobody likes a dentist anyway. Mm. This one was the mayor. Worse yet, his brother's, his brother's the sheriff. <laughs> <laughs> Young fellow named July Johnson. He was out of town at the time. They wouldn't hang you for an accident, not even in Arkansas. See, now they don't take much shine to gamblers. I wasn't going to wait around to give them the option. <laughs> Good to see you, boys. I really thought to find you still here after all these years. Well, ain't nothing changed much around here since you left, Jack. Eh? Mm. Little Luke sure surprised me. I guess I had a mind he was still just a spud. What about Maggie? Maggie's been dead nine years, Jake. Nine years. I swear. You've had a little newt all this time. What in a whole lot of people scrambling to adopt a dead horse child, Jake? Is that right, Woodrow? Hell, Leach, it ain't a holiday. Let's see, let me see if we can't help them boys out there. I swear, it was only the Christian thing to do, see? Take him in with me. After all, one of you boys is most likely his uh, dad. The rooster, Pete. It's my rooster, but he keeps running off. July, when do you aim to start after that murderer, Jake Spoon? Well, he'll get over to Mexico or somewhere. You sit around here much longer, like you've been doing. The thing is, Peach, and everybody pretty much agrees it was an accident. That rooster. Benny was my husband and your brother and the mayor of this town. Now, that ought to stand for something, July. Well, it does, You're Pete. the sheriff, ain't you? It's what you get paid for, ain't it? <laughs> well, that's true, but you can't get me out. Never should have married that woman with the little boy, July. Remember, I warned you about that. Well, what's that got to do with this, Peach? I think you'd rather stay home than do your duty, July. That's what I think. Oh, no, I never said I wasn't going after him. Rooster! Guess that'll 
I'll teach him to peck me. Don't you lie? What about Jake Spoon? I expect to find him down around San Antonio somewhere, Peach. I hear he has friends there. You catch him, you hear me? I will, Peach. Don't worry. Now let's see how you like the cook pot. Jake Spoon. They're two of the most famous Texas Rangers that ever lived. You know that? I suppose you have a sporting woman in this town, do you? Are you so rich that's all you can think about? I can think about it, rich or poor. Now get from here, you pigs. Go hunt you up another snake or something. Now go on. Get! Now sit down, Jake. Let's talk. Folks, the key pigs ain't no better than farmers. I'm surprised at you and Carl. Do you at least stay cattle now that we quit rangering? I thought you'd own a railroad by now, too, Jake. Or at least a whorehouse. I guess life's been a disappointment to us both. I mean, I've made no fortune, but by God, I never said a word to a pig, neither. In all your world travels, Jake, you didn't run across Claire nowhere, did you? She's still married to that horse trader, Bob Allen, if, if that's what you're asking. You did see her then? Just for a minute, outside a store in Ogallala. Bob was uh, with her, so I wasn't asked for supper. Any young'un? Two girls, I believe. I heard her boys died. How'd she look? Not as pretty as she once was. But hell, it's been 15 years since we caught her. Nebraska, huh? I went by there on my way to Montana. <laughs> Bob's close to riches, you know that? Army gets most of its horses from him. First he gets Claire, then he gets rid. I got him. And him so dumb he could hardly walk through a door without bumping his head. Don't seem fair, does it? Uh -oh. Stop digging when you get to China. <clears throat> You'll know it when you get there, because all the men will be wearing pigtails. If you hadn't loaned me that two dollars, I'd be halfway to Matagorda by now. You're welcome, D. No need to thank me. Easy there. Want some help? Not from you, I don't. Where's Jake? Catching a nap. He ain't changed a bit, has he? Well, you're one to talk. When's the last time you changed? Still breaking horses when there's plenty of gentle ones in this world. I never seen a more intelligent filly. Just look at the way she's watching. <laughs> well, she ain't watching you because she loves you. Gus. What? Why not? Go up to Montana. The gentleman's paradise to hear Jake tell it. Sounds like a damn wilderness if you ask me. And we're a shade old to start fighting Indians all over again, don't you think? I mean it, Gus. Why not just go north with the herd? I tell you what, you ride on up there, clear out the Indian, build a little cabin, get a nice fire going in the fireplace, 
And me and Jake will gather a herd, and then we'll come on up. I'd like to see the herd that you and Jake could get. Herd a horse, maybe. Well, you ain't no more cattlemen than I am, Carl. And you know it, too. Just want to do it, Gus. I want to see that country. Boy, the bankers and lawyers all get it. Hey, you boys got any water flowing yet? It's flowing out of me. I figure I lost about two gallons already. Well, quit work. Catch a little rest. We're going to Mexico tonight. Where you off to, looking so pretty? Oh, I just uh, thought I'd take a stroll since we got the afternoon up. Deets, what do you do once you get over in Mexico? Oh, we ride around in the dark for a while. We strike on some horses and cows, and then we steal them. <laughs> like the Mexican stole from over here somewhere. Oh. Gates, do you think the captain's gonna let me go tonight? You'll be sure in a hurry to get shot at. Any more horseback? You quit pulling on that jug. I want you sober tonight. Well, speaking of sober, there's somebody who ain't. I wish I could say. Well, why can't you say? I don't believe I can remember. Jake, you put him up to this? I don't know, Captain. I found him outside behind the alley there trying to see how fast he could drain a bottle. Best I'll not have a man with me can't do his job. Well, I can ride, Captain. I can ride. Ain't nothing sitting on a horse. Better not fall off, Deets, or the Mexicans will get you. You men won't suffer. You best go get it. We'll leave at sundown, Newt. Yes, sir. You best go saddle your pony, too, I reckon. That old Mexican thinks it's the 4th of July. I'll give him a whip of firecrackers. That's a foolish thing to do, Jake. Now, you might have hit the house instead of old Bala. No wonder you're on the run. Joe. Evening. 
Where's your mama been today? She was sick again this morning for a while. Don't you slosh that milk, Joe. I'm home. Supper's on the table. Joe said you were feeling poorly again this morning. It's living in this town, it does it. You want some buttermilk? No, sir. If he wants buttermilk, he can get it himself. You don't have to wait on him hand and foot. I've been thinking. Maybe I better go on and catch Jake Spoon. Do what? Catch Jake Spoon for killing Benny. Now, why would you want to do that? It was an accident, as everybody with any sense knows. Well, I know Pete's that. Pete's been but... bullying you again, is that it? Wipe your lips, you liar. Joe, run and fetch a bucket of water. Married five months. Now you want to ride off to God knows where, and all because of Peach. Well, that's my job, Ellie. That's what I get paid for. If I start now, I expect I'd be back in a month. Well, maybe you should have that, July. Yeah, I think I should, Ellie. Take Joe with you. Take Joe? Well, Ellie, he's just a boy. That could be a fight. Why, well, I doubt anybody would shoot a boy, even in Texas. I was thinking maybe I'd take Roscoe. No, you take Joe with you. He's got to grow up sometime. It won't hurt him to see the world. Oh, I don't know, Ellie. Well, I know. I'll go tell him. I didn't put a gun on him, ain't you? Wouldn't be surprised if he makes you toss in his outfit tomorrow. Oh, you better hope not, Deets. The first thing I do is cut your wages. Josh me all the time. <laughs> It's just a couple miles over that ridge, Captain. Some people might think it's foolish to try and steal horses from Pedro Flores. Hell, he's only got the best armed hundred vaqueros in northern Mexico. They're spread all around. Most of them can't shoot anyhow. Well, most of this crowd can't either. Look at this. She's still about half drunk. Nude ain't ever spilled blood. I swear, girl. You argue with a possum. Be easy to argue with you, Woodrow. Bigger. 
I'd say 40 or 50 here. Speak up, Gus. Talk a little louder, and them Valcaros probably bring the horse up here to us. Of course, they'll be riding them and shooting their pistols off at us. We'll split up. Get ready to jump some gullies, boy. Yes, I do. I hear something, but it sounds like a bird. A bird? Hell, these ones talking no bird. No, well, sir, I guess he wouldn't. Two of them. They got a donkey and a mule. Oh, that don't make no sense at all. Floors go to Iron Arch. Oh, whiskey made me pawn me clothes, and whiskey gave me a broken nose. Whiskey, oh, Johnny, oh, rise above from down below. Whiskey, 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 oh, open up this jar, must go, John, rise above from down below. I say we hit the donkey, Alan. What else are you gonna do with the donkey? Teach it to sit on its arse and eat sugar cubes. That's what else. <laughs> you man just tell steady there. Murderers, Alan! Murderers! Don't do it! Yeah! Yeah! yeah. I believe that mule's hobble, son. That's why his legs won't work. <laughs> He's me brother, but smart he ain't. I'm Alan O'Brien. And that would be young Sean there on the mule. Moot, you run get the horses. Yes, sir. You men know where you are? Well, we ain't in Ireland. I know that much. No. But could you tell me how far we might be from uh, Galveston, sir? Galveston? Hell, this is Mexico, boys. And worse, the part you're standing on belongs to Pedro Flores. He finds you here, he'll hang you sure. Hang us? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Gustin got the horses. Boys, best pack up and go with us. We're packed. Pedro Flores and his boys? Yes, sir. I believe so. No wonder we ain't been chased. While we was over here in Mexico stealing Flores' horses, hell, he was back in Texas stealing some others. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> well, you what? We'll run straight at him, turn his herd in with ours, and kick for the river. Be a good joke on that old bandit. <laughs> Too in <ain't> a fair. <laughs> Hang on to your head, Ar
¿Qué es eso? Bad for a night's work. More than a hundred horses and two lost tires. All we need now is cattle. A few more cowboys help drive them north. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I ain't been here but a day and already you boys make a damn horse thief out of me. Well, that's a step up for you, ain't it, Jake? Well, let's get them horses hid in that thicket up there. Don't even want your breakfast first, Woodrow. I could kick you for giving him all them ideas about Montana. Now we're gonna suffer for the rest of our damn lives. Yeah, I forgot how determined he can get once an idea takes root. Listen, now about loan me a couple dollars, all right? It's a little early in the day to go wiggling your bean, ain't it, Jake? For whiskey in a tub? That girl wouldn't take money from a gentleman like that. That's because she don't really know you yet. <laughs> I told Roscoe to give you a hand if you need help with anything. I can do my own shoring. This ain't exactly a cotton plantation we're running in. Well, you ready, Joe? Yes, sir, I reckon. Well, give her a kick and let's go. Roscoe! Roscoe Brown! Good morning, 
Pete. Well, Carly. I thought you lied, told you to look after Elmira. Well, she said she don't want no looking at. We just got back from the cabin and she's gone. Did you know that? Gone? Gone where? Maybe on that whiskey boat that left the other day. You mean she she left town? Well, why would Elmira do a thing like that? Well, who knows a woman like her? Maybe got her another man somewhere. But she's July's wife. And she's gonna have a baby, too. A baby? July never said nothing about no baby. I doubt she ever told him, but I know she is. I seen her with the morning sickness. God. On a whiskey boat. I ain't got the sense God gave a turkey or he never would have married that woman in the first place. You best go find him and tell him his wife's run away. Well, July's gone to Texas, Peach. He, he left six days ago. Well, surely you can find Texas, Roscoe. I can find Texas, but how do I find July? Now listen, Roscoe. She ain't hardly worth it, but July dotes on that woman. He's gonna want to find her before she gets up there somewhere and gets scalped by the Indians. Now, you see to it, you hear? Or you'll be the one gets blamed. All right, Peach. I don't know nothing else to do. Come on, Charlie. Don't stand in the sun like you ain't got no sense. <laughs> Here, give me a pull on that. Taking advantage of the fact. Won't well, now, boy. No. No, you, uh, you took a chance getting on a boat with a bunch of men like us. You the one that done it? Big way. He done it. He fancies you. Says he's gonna marry you. He can't marry me. I'm already married. The fact is, I'm going up to Ogallala to find my husband. Maybe you heard of him. Debu? Big way he likes you. He's gonna marry you. Well, you go tell him I already got a husband. Give me a hand over here. <laughs> you go tell him yourself. I didn't say I liked him. I expect him to die. 
I guess. Well, he was a rough old cob, I'll say that for him. <laughs> Fun's all over down here for sure. Yeah, ain't it? Fun? Oh, you know about fun, Woodrow. You never had no fun in your whole darn life. Fun is my department. And now that you're back, I think I'll ride into town and see if I can't scare me up a little bit of it. We got enough to do right here without you riding off the town. Well, I'm just trying to keep everything in balance, Woodrow. You do more work than you got to, so it's my obligation to do less. seen you in a while. That girl never gone and got married or what? Every time I jingle my money, she give me a look like she's ready to carve my liver. Never was but one thing worth doing in this town anyway. Now a man can't even do that. I hear uh, you and Carl are raising a herd. Well, you're about half right. Paul is. He's still taking on hand? Well, I imagine you find a place for you, Jasper. You don't look like you eat too much. He's with a herd about five miles yonder way. Lower and dark. Lippy. Jake now, Gus, you know that. Yeah, I do know that, honey. The minute I saw Jake riding up the road to Lonesome Dove, I knew you and him were settling together. The call finally got him to do some work this afternoon, so there ain't no reason you shouldn't sell me a poke. I just told you the reason. Jake takes care of me now. Jake Spoon's never taken care of nobody in his whole life. The truth is, he always finds somebody to take care of him. It used to be me and Carl. Now it's you. Ain't that right? You aim to marry? We ain't talked about it. He's taking me to San Francisco, though. Think so, huh? He promised I mean to hold him to it. Jake slipped her like a needle. My guess is he'll use the cattle drive to leave you once the time comes. Well, if Jake's going on the drive, then I'm going to. Now, you'd be welcome as far as I'm concerned, but Carl ain't very tolerant to women. I guess I can go where I want. It's a free country, ain't it? Well, not if you work for Woodrow Call it. I, I tell you, I give you fifty dollars for the poke. Fifty dollars? I'll give you fifty dollars. Even if you had fifty dollars, Lippy, the answer would still be no. I tell you what, let's cut cards. Now, if you're high, you win the $50, get the poke. Now, if I'm high, I'll still give you the $50, but I get the poke, all right? Well, what about Jake? I thought he was your good friend. I ain't trying to cut Jake out. I just want a poke. You might need the $50. cheated, didn't you? Well, I wouldn't say I did, I wouldn't say I didn't, but I will say this, a man who wouldn't cheat for a poke 
Don't want one bad enough. Come on, darling. You heard, ain't it? Got a fine Irish baritone to sing to him. He sings too sad to me. Well, hello there, Jake. Uh, Way late in the stool, I helped you down from your horse. <laughs> I ain't getting down. Hand me up a plate, I'll eat on my way to town. Ah, uh, Jake, you sound plum grumpy. I guess one day's honest work don't agree with you. Or if it's just any work at all. Oh. <laughs> You're one to talk. Where you been all afternoon? I was playing a hand with Lori. Poor girl thinks you're taking her to San Francisco. I don't see where that's any business of yours. I guess she'll go where I say go. Or get left behind, one. Yeah. Why don't you bring her on a drive? On a drive? Yeah. Be a safe way to travel, and you two just striking out on your own, especially through Indian country. Call never allow no woman in camp, and you know it. Call ain't God. Oh, you would grow. What? I was just telling Jake here you ain't God. <laughs> you ain't, are you? A couple more good drags through Mexico. We'll be able to start up the trail on Monday. How does that suit you, Jake? No need to suit me, Call. I don't know that I feel like bumping around these cows no more anyway. Does that mean you ain't going on a drive with us? Jake's got his own fancy to cultivate. It don't mean a thing to him that he's caused all this. I don't see that I caused anything. Now, who was it said Montana is a cowman's paradise? Well, it is. You know the country, Jake. We've counting on you to be long to help cheese away. Well, I ain't decided for sure yet. Well, that's fine, Jake. You let us know when you do. Yeah, I will. Think you'll go with us? I tell you what I do think. I think Jake's always been too leaky a vessel for anybody to put much hope in. Going to town, Jake? What's wrong, Sean? Hey, miss me, mother. You back in Ireland? Well, don't worry. I'm sure you'll see her again someday. No, oh, she died before me and me brother left home. Otherwise, I'd still be there. Mine died too, you know. You miss her? Like I've been missing mine. Sometimes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I do miss her. What about your pa? I don't know nothing about him. Me pa was a drunkard. He fell down a well and drowned it. He only came home when he had a mind to beat me and Alan anyway. At least you knew who he was. Ah, oh, it's me, my miss. And I'm Sandy. Just bathed in the river. Want me to fill your tub? Maybe later. Oh, 
I was all gushed up to all afternoon. You didn't come back till sundown. He was here a while. He offered me fifty dollars. Mm -hmm. Gus always was a fool with his money. I turned him down, though. I told him I was with you now. I reckon he got his poke. If I'm wrong, you can hit me back. We cut cards for it. And I can't prove it, but I know he cheated. I should have warned you about cutting cards with that old cud. <laughs> it have been anybody but him. I'd have shot you. You going with the herd? Ain't decided. They don't leave the Monday. Well, you ain't planning on leaving me here. If you do go, are you? Jake? All them cowboys in love with you? Hell, I'd have to kill half of them before we got to the Red River if I was to take you along. They won't bother me. Gus is the only one with enough guts to even try it. Yeah. He'd want to cut the cards twice a day. I'm going with you, Jake, whether you go on the drive or not. I'm going with you when you leave. Well, maybe we'll go up to San Antonio and gamble a spell. We can do that. I've already been to San Antonio. I don't want to go back. Ain't you the hard one to please? No, I ain't. I just want to go to San Francisco. Like you promised me. Well, that'd please me just fine. Well, I ain't gonna run off and leave you, Lori. That's what you think. I know you ain't, Jake. awful early. Jake, let's leave today. Today? Go and buy me a horse, will you? <sighs> One that's not too tall. Here's fifty dollars. This Gus's money? It was. <laughs> well, I bet a nickel. You girls get ready to shed a tear or two. I ain't afraid of you. I ain't scared neither. How about you, Trapper? Big up, Jack. Are you gonna play cards or just sit there looking ugly? <laughs> What's he gonna do with that thing? That's supper. Ball will make a good stew with that. I ain't no rattlesnake. Well, I guess these don't want no snake supper neither. Hey, it's Jake. <laughs> Miss Lorena. Lori, darling, that's a fine-looking horse you're riding. Jake bought her for me from Mary Pumphrey. Well, I'm surprised she'd sell her. Well, I had $50 to spend, Gus. Money well spent, Jake, both times.
Got it, Carl. You never met Miss Lorena Wood, did you, Woodrow? No, we've not met. Well, Jake, I see you've made your decision. Yes, we've decided to try our luck in San Francisco. I believe we'll enjoy the cool weather. It's a hard trip. Oh, Jake ain't one to be put off a hardship, Woodrow. You know that. We hope to ease along with you boys as far as Denver, if you don't mind. Free country, Jake, do as you please. Guess we'll find a ridge to camp on. Somewhere upwind from these stinking beasts of yours. See you boys on the trail somewhere. All right. Woodrow, let's go on and go for going. Oh, you mean now? I was thinking of making another run to Mexico before we left. The hell, we got enough cattle to stock five ranches. Now, let's go on and go for going, all right? All right, you boys, check your gear. We'll be leaving first light in the morning. Captain, how far is it up north? Well, up north ain't a place, Ned. It's a direction. And where we're going, about 2,500 miles that way. 2,500 miles? Now, where are you off to? I forgot something. Now, if I ain't back in a month, you girls go on to start without me. <laughs> Take care of the place. It's all yours now. Nobody else. I see the morning rush ain't started yet. It will never start again. Not ever again. Don't take us a hard, Xavier. There's plenty of whore. Right up to San Antonio and recruit you another one. I would have given her money, bought her clothes. I love her. I hear we all love her, every darn one of them. You know that. Yes. But I would have married her. Helps in it's my opinion she made a poor bargain. Gone with Jake Spoon. Thank you. Well, goodbye, my fine friend. Goodbye to you, my good friend. Jumped off the roof, and here's where I landed. 
Well, you better jump back up there, then, because this wagon's going to Montana. Yes, sir, and I am, too. Piano playing's finished around here. Well, we got two Irishmen and a bunch of addle-brained cowboys. I guess we could always use a man wears a chamber pot on his head. Come on, mules. <laughs> Funny, ain't it? All them cattle and nine tenths of the horses are stolen. Yet we were once respected law, man. <laughs> How many head do you think we start now with? All oh, about 2,600 cattle and two pigs. That's a dang stupid thing to do, bringing that old sign along. You'll have us at laughing stock of this whole country with that. We don't rent pigs part. Well, we don't rent pigs. And I figure it's better to say it right up front, because a man that does like to rent pigs is, he's hard to stop. And if that ain't bad enough, you get all them Greek words on there, too. I told you, Woodrow, a long time ago, it ain't Greek, it's Latin. Well, what does it say, that Latin? Well, it's a motto. It just says itself. Yo varum, yo varum feet, yo varum double feet, yo varum. You don't have no idea what it says. You found that in some old book or something. For all you know, it invites people to rob us. Well, first man comes along that can read Latin is welcome to rob as far as I'm concerned. I'd like the chance to shoot at an educated man once in my life. <laughs> hey! Jake! Stop that! I didn't hit you, did I? I was... Shooting at the turtle. You're lucky you hit the river as drunk as you are. Oh. How's your thumb? All this over. Little old Miss Heath Farm. Ain't that so? Ow! It's made you sick, Jake. I don't know why I think that's too fancy for you. Come on down here with me. Come on. Come on. I make you hot a coffee instead. I'll do this. I'm Dietz. The captain sent me ahead to scout a good place to cross the herd. Mr. Jake napping, huh? He's got a mesquite thorn in his hand. It's made him sick. 
better take a look. Mesquite thorns. Uh, bad poison. Deets? Where'd you come from, Deets? We're all right now, Lori. Deets will see us through. Full of fever. Oh, I'm gonna dig this stick out of you. I'd soon cut off my hand and have you dig around there with that. Oh, no, you wanna keep your hand. I might need you to shoot a bandit. One gets after me. <laughs> You two best cross the river to the other side and make your camp. Uh, gonna come a storm tonight. Be harder to cross tomorrow. A storm, you say? Yeah. When it hit about sundown, blowing sand and then lightning. Mm. Don't tie your horses to no trees. <laughs> Jake's gonna want to rest up here a while. He can rest on the other side. I help you cross. Get it! <laughs> They're a little thorn. <laughs> now you can be shuffling them cards again. Huh? <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> All right, miss. Let's get you packed and across the river. Gotta get back to that herd before that storm come whooping in here. All right. You, you sorry you're on this trip, miss? It's gonna be a lot harder than I thought. I can already see that. Well, I believe you're up to it, ain't you? I'm gonna have to be if I want to make it to San Francisco. Well, Woodrow, here's where we find out if we was meant to be cowboys, I reckon. I reckon.
lot easier for you to get out from there. You know what? Wait a minute, he's stuck yeah. too! Find <laughs> my gun! I don't stick him. Hold it up, hold it up! Billy T. Moore got that wagon unstuck yet? Oh, yes, Captain! Is anybody? Everybody's fine. Except I ain't seen Mr. Gus nowhere. Well, I seen him right off the other way. Right after the sun come up this morning. He probably went off someplace to hunt for his jug. How about the cat? I think we lost 20, maybe 25. Could have been a lot worse. Ain't no point in getting too clean, boys. You'll be neck deep in the New Aces River before dark. That's fine with you, ain't it, Nippy? You could use a good wash. <laughs> How many rivers would there be between here and where we're going, though? No. Oh, I don't know. There's a bunch of bet, though. Yeah, I'd be wishing we'd go around them. Oh. Yeah, that suit me all right, too. Now, I crossed an ocean. I don't know why I'm feeling afraid to be crossing a river. And your whore. She got away last night in the storm. So I see. Here you go, darling. Ooh. Uh, I don't see young Jake around nowhere. He rode off a minute ago. I'm gonna track my horse. Track your horse? Hell, he couldn't track an elephant if he's on to his tail. See? So, I best call him back before he gets lost himself. What do you got here? I bet you got some coffee boiling in that pot. I do. <laughs> I swear, Lori, you're as pretty as the morning. I guess traveling agrees with you. If you get any prettier than I may be uh, forced to cut the cards with you again. I'll do the shuffle <laughs> the next time. I don't trust you. Who invited you to breakfast? Uh-oh. Jake, you never was grateful for nothing. Here I return a $50 horse you couldn't have found in a week, and all you can do is gripe about my company. There's such thing as too much of your company, Gus. Jake. I swear, Jake, uh, are you jealous? Why wouldn't I be when you try to poke every woman I ever even looked at? Well, Jake, as much as I'd like to stay and discuss all the loves you've lost to me, I'd best be getting on back to the herd. Thanks for the coffee, Lori. Good idea to keep that Mary hobble at night. She was on her way back to Lonesome Dove when I found her. I reckon I can hobble a horse without you telling me. Well, that's good to know, Jake. Back up, we're going to San Antonio for a while. San Antonio? Good gambling town. Won't hurt us to stop for a week. We'll catch up with the herd later. Jake, I already told you I ain't going to San Antonio. I already been there. Don't fuck me. I guess you'll go where I say go. Not to San Antonio, I ain't. Turn it! I wanted to gamble a little bit between here and Denver. Go on and gamble if you want to gamble, then. I never said you couldn't. Just ain't going with you. What? Just leave you here. Sure, why not? Because Gus will be riding over here every morning wanting to teach you car tricks. That's why not. Well, that's true. He might. What was Jake up to? Oh, Jake's just up to being Jake. It's it, it's a full-time job, you know. <laughs> yeah, it takes a woman to help him with it, too, don't it? I'm gonna get some of the boys downstream, 
keep the cattle from scattering. Beats you and this, just these old dogs off down there, real gentle. I believe the cattle follow along all right. Well, the old dog won't be no trouble. He's like me. You mean lazy? I mean mature. He don't get excited about little things like crossing the river no more than I do. Well, you don't get excited about nothing except biscuits, maybe. You bet. And whores. Mm-hmm. <laughs> over at the camp, huh? Yeah, me and Miss Lorena always take our coffee together of a morning, you know. I hope the weather didn't treat her too bad last night. No, she's fine, just fine. Good, good. Yeah, we visited the better part of an hour about various things and people, okay? Oh, I can't recall if she ever did uh, mention you, do you? Swim. <laughs> hey, it mustn't be too bad, huh, Sean? I'll go first. All right. All right. Come on, mouse. Get this! 